After successfully developing and testing a submarine-launched cruise missile, SLCM, with a range of 402 kilometers, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, is now working on an air-launched cruise missile, ALCM, variant. The ALCM will be lighter than the SLCM and will be able to be launched from fighter jets. It will have a range of over 500 kilometers and will be equipped with a terminal seeker that will allow it to home in on its target with high accuracy. The ALCM is expected to be inducted into the Indian Air Force in the next few years and will be a significant addition to the IAF's arsenal. Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited MDL, is working to significantly increase the indigenization content of the Calvary-class submarines from the current 32% to an impressive 60%. Out of the 165 major equipment, 30 have already undergone successful indigenization processes. The successful indigenization of these critical components aligns with the government's vision of achieving self-sufficiency in defense production and strengthens India's maritime defense capabilities. Russia has filed a patent for a new stealth fighter jet with enhanced capabilities, including aerial command hub functionality and extended flight range. The aircraft is believed to be a two-seater version of the Su-57 or a new fighter for the Indian Air Force. Despite controversy surrounding its novelty, the developers maintain it's a cutting-edge design that will significantly bolster Russia's air power. In a boost to make in India, the Indian Navy and Coast Guard will acquire 15 C-295 transport aircraft manufactured by Tata Advanced Systems and Airbus. These aircraft will be equipped for maritime patrol roles, enhancing India's maritime security capabilities. Parachute Technologies Private Limited PTPL, has secured the contract for the Indian Navy's light combat aircraft LCA manned unmanned teaming simulation. The company's state-of-the-art MUMT simulation platform will provide the Indian Navy with a realistic and immersive training environment for MUMT operations. This win highlights India's growing capabilities in developing advanced simulation technologies. Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited MDL, is poised to deliver the first Project 17 Alpha Stealth frigate to the Indian Navy next year. These frigates, designed for stealth and maneuverability, are equipped with advanced weapon systems. The delivery marks a significant milestone in India's naval modernization program. Prime Minister Narendra Modi took a sortie in an indigenously developed Tejas fighter jet praising HAL's efforts and highlighting India's growing defense prowess. The Tejas sortie signifies India's technological advancements and self-reliance in the defense sector. India and the European Union have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to strengthen cooperation in the semiconductor sector. The MOU aims to enhance resilience and cooperation in the semiconductor value chain through joint research, talent development, partnerships, and market information exchange. This collaboration is expected to strengthen the global semiconductor supply chain and advance technological innovation. Tesla is poised to invest up to $2 billion in India if the government lowers import taxes on its electric vehicles to 15% for the first two years. The Indian government is examining the proposal but seeks to limit the number of vehicles eligible for the reduced duty. IIT Mandi researchers have developed a groundbreaking extrusion-based metal 3D printing process offering a superior, cost-effective, and safer alternative to conventional methods. This breakthrough opens up new possibilities for manufacturing complex metal components across diverse industries.